And Illinois closes in on its one-year anniversary for legalizing recreational marijuana. But as business grows, there are still complaints from some communities feeling left out of the process. WGN's Gainer Hall now is live on the north side with more tonight. Gainer. Ray and Lourdes, demand is high. More dispensaries are popping up, but questions continue about equity. January 1st, 2020, the lines were long as legalized recreational marijuana became reality in Illinois. One year later, business is still booming. Today, Zen Leaf cut the ribbon on another dispensary. This one is the first for suburban Prospect Heights. The mindsets around cannabis are rapidly changing. It's been a huge success uh, in every capacity. Jason Erkes with Cresco Labs Sunnyside Dispensaries says the demand is bigger than everyone anticipated. Their expanded River North location opens Friday. It's not people buying larger quantities, it's new consumers entering the marketplace. It's people that are turning to cannabis to deal with sleepless nights, to deal with anxiety, with signs of depression, uh, to help them deal with what's going on. But heading into the new year, there's still unresolved issues when it comes to social equity. What's going on right now, this is totally not right. Complaints continue that black and brown communities are being locked out of ownership. And because of the pandemic, the expungement process has taken a hit. There have not been any public policy hearings. And those are hearings in which there's an objection to somebody's expungement petition in Chicago since uh, March. Brandon Williams says he's hopeful those hearings will resume in January virtually. He's a supervising attorney with Cabrini Green Legal Aid, which is part of New Leaf, Illinois, a network of nonprofits working to help people get their cannabis records cleared. I just want people to be encouraged and don't be afraid and take that first step, get these cannabis convictions off their records so that they can have a better opportunity for employment and housing. Combined recreational and medical marijuana sales could top a billion dollars in Illinois this year, and industry leaders expect that number will only grow in 2021. Reporting live tonight from River North, Gaynor Hall, WGN News. All right, Gaynor, thanks so much. Well, the new year bringing new laws to Illinois. The state's minimum wage will increase to $11 an hour. The out-of-pocket cost of insulin will be capped at $100. That's for a 30-day supply. Drivers will be allowed to register their cars for a two-year period, not just one. Law enforcement agencies can begin collecting DNA samples from relatives of a missing person. Also, the addresses of sexual assault and stalking victims will be kept confidential.